Hello everyone, I'm your friend Inside XO. Um, today we'll meet again. Um, so, what's the topic today? Well, I also want to know that. Um, first, let me let us do something to relaxing to let our brain empty. How how it would happen? How how it would be? To do that, okay. It's quite simple. You just have to open Twitter. That's all. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of information right in Twitter. But also, it depends on what can what kind of person you are following right now. So let's go to the following list. Um, as we know, there um, there has a lot of accounts in Twitter, but not anyone have some useful information for you to go to a higher level. So what you need to do is unfollowing those people who um, who have no knowledge or have no willing to share it with people all over the world. Let's go back to our Twitter. Only in the Twitter list, you can see um, how many people are useful. Yeah, as you can see, this this message does not write does does not have some information about the in about the internet in about the internet technology or anything related to. Programming, so we want to unfollowing this guy. And here's again, Jaws in Garden. Okay, you just have to remember the land and go to the last to unfollow it. When you finish the, all those things, you are ready to go. Um, first, we want uh, we want to get some information from the principal account account or the the Google account. So we just uh, open a new page for those two accounts to see if if they got any interesting thing for us to learn today. Okay. Google account has many information about uh, uh, Google, but not very useful. Uh, then the principal, here's what he said: Check out German Hansen's demonstration about uh, of how pre-trained models from principal hope can be leveraged. 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 To solve sentiment allies challenges on um, Kango. But we don't want to do that. And here's another one How to convert a simple ML model to TF LED using Keros. Okay, it's quite interesting, but um, as far as now we don't need to convert our model to TF Lado. Here's a post about uh, TPO. Okay, it's a kind of a handware to speed up your machine learning training. But we, but we don't have that hardware, so it's useless as far as now. Oh well, there's there's another um, useful website you should check out. Um, people may call it uh, Media. Uh, in this website, you can also follow some people. For example, Tensorflow. Um, 
if you go into it, you you find the many many um important new stuff about、uh, tensorflow or something related to machine learning. For example, neural style transfer, creating art with deep learning using TF dot carrots and Eager execution. Yeah, right. But we don't need to transfer any info, any pictures right now. But we want to building a text text classification model using TensorFlow Hope and Estimator. So, uh, we just click the into that. Post. Oh well, don't forget to、um, bookmark this page to to the place you want. So,、um, no matter how, we're going to read this post line by line until we really understood what's going on in there or how to do that thing in my way, in 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 our way. So. Let's get started. Building a text classification model with TensorFlow Hope and estimators. We often say transfer learning applied to computer vision models, but what about using it for text classification? In the TensorFlow Hope, elaborate for enhancing your TF models with transfer learning. Transfer learning is the process of taking the weights and Variables of a pre-existing model that has already been trained on lots of data and、uh, leveraging it for your own data and prediction task. Okay, let's go to the TensorFlow Hub to check out. Um, if we see this. Those codes, those simple codes. Um, what will we get? Okay, import TensorFlow Hope as Hope. Model URL equal to some URL, some address. Embed. What does that mean? Embed. Equal to Hope that model, model URL. Embeddings. Embed. Equal to a long sentence, single word. Example that C O N. With TF data session and session session that run TF global variables in initializer. Global underscore variables underscore initializer. Initializer. Okay. A、uh, session that run TF data tables in initializer. And the end. Print the session that run embeddings. Embeddings. It's it's basically about the embeddings. Let's go to the guide if we can get some conceptions about the tensorflow hope. Okay, we didn't find anything useful in there, but end of end last questions. About what's that? So let's read on. One of many benefits of transfer learning is that you don't need to provide as much as your own training data as you would if you were starting from scratch. What's that? What's that mean? One of the many benefits of transfer learning is that you don't need to provide as much of your own training data as you would if you were starting from scratch. But where do the, these pre-existing models come from? That's where TensorFlow Hub comes in handy. It provides a whole re repository of existing model checkpoints for variable types of models. Repository. Repository. Images, text, and more. In this post, I walk you through building a model to protect the genre. The genre of a movie from its description using a TensorFlow Hub text module. Module. You can run this module model in the browser with their setup using CodeLab. Okay, let's go to it.
Okay, now we are in the chapter notebook, as I remembered.、Um, let's try if we can run this model right now. Okay, we will. We can actually,、um, but for some reason we'll still stick on to this post because we want to have some descriptions in details instead of just codes. If If there are just codes, we can not understand what's going on, really. So, let's go on. Import and pre-processing data for this model. We all use this awesome public domain movie dataset from Kaggle. You may want to ask, what is Kaggle? If you go into that website. Yeah, it's actually a website, a platform for data science or machine learning expert to get unlimited data sites to help them doing research, right? You may also want to save this page for later use. It has data on over forty-five thousand movies. It's a big Data sets are they? I think it is. There's lots of data on each movie, but to keep things simple, we、we'll、use only the movie's description called overview in this dataset, and its genres. Genres. Here's a preview of the dataset in Kango. I don't know if I can、um, make it bigger than this. Maybe we could open it in a, in a new window.、Um, if you take a look at this picture, you know on the right you get a, a, a few sentences.、Uh, it's about the overview of that movie, and also here's got a genres. It's about the classic. It's about the class of that movie. Okay, it... Genres. Genres. First, we'll import the libraries we will be using to build this model. Import NumPy as NP. Import Pandas as PD. Import TensorFlow as TF. Import TensorFlow Hope as Hope. From Steiner. That preprocessed imports multiple label bandwidth. So here we import it. As you can see, I made the this field from this dataset available in a public cloud storage bucket. Bucket. We can run the following command to download the data to our colab instance and read it as a pandas data flow. If you are, if you ask me, what is pandas data flow? I'll say it's just a a table. Consisted of、uh, consists with rows and、uh, columns, so it's just a table full of data. So the first thing we want to do is download that CSV file, and then read that CSV file as a data from as a data frame, and somehow get the head head. Okay. What's the head? The head means the the beginning of of our data form. So here you can see those rows, those lines, which represents the 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 very beginning a few data in that data set. You can get、uh, if it's adult or it belongs to a collection bucket or what's the genres it is. Or what's the overview it is, and basically we won't use、uh, so much columns. We will only use、uh, genres. 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 We will only use the、uh, genres and overview about that about those movies.
And here, if you want to load all those overview Chrome as a data form, uh, which names uh, descriptions, or you just want to load the genres. 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 Or if you just want to load the genres, you can do this in pandas dead from. But here, the genres. Real codes, the real codes, what Google's have done, what Google's did is to reload that that variable from pickles, okay, from from a local uh, field. So that's that's how Google does for you. To keep things simple, we'll limit the possible genres, 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 genres to the following. We will limit the possible genres to the following. It's uh, it's about the top genres, okay. Um, we'll limit our deficit to to movies with non-empty descriptions in those in those genres and uh, and then we can split our data into training and uh, testing sets using an um, 80 percent or 20 percent train or test splits. what's that mean okay we will see as long as we we we, we do this we know the len will return the descriptions lens and uh, it just did something like um, beautiful or times 0 0.8 to get the training size and the rest of the lens he used it as a test site test set okay it's a common strategy for training ML model you have to um, left a part of your data to uh, to test if your model works really well So he just uh, do the split to descriptions and the genres. Genres. And the genres. And then do it again to the, the descriptions and genres uh, to have a test uh, data set. Uh, okay, it's quite understandable as long as you know the reason why he want to do this. The next step is to build or embedding layer with the pub. Here's a conception embedding. about embedding layer. What's that mean? Embedding. Okay. It's about do something to the layer. Insert something to the to that layer. Creating an embedding with the pub uses a surprisingly small amount of code. Our model will only have one feature the description and it'll be represented as an embedding clone. Text embeddings provide a way to present pieces of, of, of text in vector space so that similar words or sentences are closer together in the embedding space. You can read more about it from that link. Okay, basically it's it's a conception about convert text to vector to vectors to to make the text reasonable to, to machines that the machine understand the machine only understand if the data is number you can build text embedding vectors from scratch using entirely your own data tf hub simplifies this process by providing text embeddings that have already been trained on a variety of text data. For English text, text TFO provides a variety of embeddings trained on different kinds of text data. Universal sentence encoder for long for longer form text inputs.
ELMO, deep embeddings trained on the 1B word benchmark. Benchmark. Neural network language model embeddings trained on Google News, Word2 Vectory, trained on Wikipedia. The pre trained text embeddings you choose is the hyperparameter in your model. So it's best to experiment with different ones and say which one yields the highest accuracy. Start with the model that was trained on text closest to yours. Since our movie descriptions are longer inputs, I found I got the highest accuracy use the universal sentence encoder embeddings. This will encode our descriptions into high dimensional text vectors. Note that this particular model is quite large and will take up one gigabyte. We can use hop that text embedding column to create a feature clone for this layer in one line of code. Passing it the length of our layer movie descriptions and the URL of the TF hop model we will be using. Here we go to the another page. When we train our model, we are provide the labels. In this case, genres. Genres. Genres associated with each movie. We cannot pass the genres in in as strings directly. We'll transfer them into mute hold vectors. Since we have nine genres, we'll have a nine animate animate vector for each movie with zeros and ones indicating which genres are present in each description. Encoder equal to build, build label benefizer. Encoder that fit transfer. It just gave the trim genres to it. And trim encoded equal to encoder that transfer uh, trim genres. Test encoder equal to Decoder that transfer text genres. Lamb classes equal to lens of encoder dot classes. And you can print out the encoder dot classes to say what's going on in there. Um so you can say the classes is it's it's just about the the classification about the classifications of that movie of those movies. And then the train underline encoded zero equal to the the number represent repre, represent you represent that uh, generals using numbers. Okay, for example, you can change the the train encoded. You can print the the top five. So it's not hard to understood. To understand, to understood what's going on in it about this process. Here's another paragraph. With our TF Hope embedding layer, TF Hope provides a library of existing pre trained model checkpoints for, for, for various kinds of models, images, text, and more. In this model, we we'll use the TF Hope Universal Sentence Encoder model for pre-trained word embeddings. We only need one line of code to instantiate. How to say that? Instantiate. To instantiate module. When we train our model, it'll convert our array of movie descriptions strings to embeddings. When we train our model, we'll use this as a feature clone. Description embeddings equal to hope that text embedding clone descriptions model space equal to model specific equal to the universal sentence encoder and in the end uh, trainable equal to false. I don't know what that means, but it may be useful in the later. I don't know, just just that. Let's go on. Note that it may take some time to run this seal since it's downloading the 
pre-trained embeddings. Okay, it's about one gigabyte, so it's a it's a it's a long process to take for the for the machine. Okay, we are done. He just downloaded that TFO module. The best part about this is that we don't need to do any pre-processing to feed our text descriptions into the pre-trained word embeddings. If we were building this model from scratch, we'd need to convert all descriptions into vectors ourselves. But with the TFHOPE clone, we can pass our description strings directly to the model, turning labels into multiple code encodings. Since a movie often has multiple genres, genres, genres. Since the movie has often often has multiple genres, our model will return multiple possible labels for each movie. Our genres are currently a list of strings for each movie, like action, adventure. Since each label leads to be the small the the same names, we'll transfer this last into multi hold vectors of ones and zeros corresponding to the genres present in a particular description genres genres the multiple hold vector for an action and adventure movie would look like the following okay it's reasonable as you can see um Zero 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 one. It means zero 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 one, and the one is action. And from the end, start. We count from the end. One zero. That means um, satisfaction. No zero. Adventure. Yes one. So it's quite reasonable, as long as you know it is from the inner side. To transfer our string labels into multiple hold vectors in just a few lines of code, we we'll use a secondary utility called multiple label bandwidth. Yeah, as we saw in here, it just did the same thing. First, feed the transfer. Feed transfer. That means take the the shape of your data to the encoder. So so they so. It can know um, what kind of shape you are you are giving to it, and then encoding that transfer um, transfer the, the the data you want um, to a binary um, list of numbers. Building and training a DNN estimator model. What's the mean about DNN? Okay, what is DNN neural network? Okay, that's that that was that makes sense. A deep neural network is an artificial neural network with multiple layers between the input and output layers. Um, so DNN is actually the the short short line of deep neural network, and ANN is for artificial neural network. Artificial neural network. I mean, it, it has no difference about the ANN or DNN. It's just the the, the terms they the, those signs used to um, describe the neural network. Okay, so how to building and training a how to build and train a, a deep learning operate uh, how to how to train that deep neural network estimator model. So for our model, we'll use a DNN estimator to build a deep neural network that returns a multiple hold, multiple hold vector. Since each movie can have zero or more possible labels, this is different from a, a model where each input has exactly one label. The first parameter we pass to our DNN estimator is called a head and defines the type of labels or model 
should expect, since we want our model to output multiple labels. We'll use mute multiple label head here. You can say mute multiple label head equal to tf dot contribute dot estimator dot multiple label mute multiple label head, and you give it two parameters, which lambs lam classes. Oh, we see that before. We saw that before. What's the lam classes? Let's print it out. Lam. Okay, we don't need to. The lam classes. It's about the the lengths of your classes. Okay, how many classes you have about your data or about your 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 models, which gonna take. And then you give it a loss reduction function. It is indeed a tf dot losses dot reduction dot sum underline over underline page underline size. We don't know that, but it doesn't matter. You you just have to know that it's a loss function. We can now pass this in when we are when we instantiate. When we instantiate or DNN estimator, 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 the hidden unites parameter indicates how many layers we'll have in our network. This model has two layers. The first has 64 neurons, and the second has 10 layers, levels, okay? Number of layers and the layer size. It's a hyperparameter, so you should try out different values to say what works best for your dataset. Finally, when pass or feature clones to the estimator, in this case, we only have one, the description, and, we'll, and we have already defined it as a tf-hope embedding clone above, so we can pass that here as the last. It also means if you have multiple variables, you can also put it into the last and and give it to the feature clones. Almost ready to we are almost ready to to train the model. Before we can train our estimator instance, we need to define our training input function. An input function connects our data to the model. Here we'll use the use a lampi input function and uh, feed our data to our model as lampi arrives. So how are we gonna do it? So you can see features equal to a text descriptions to lampi dot y train descriptions and the labels equal to lampi dot array Train encoded. Well, okay, it makes sense. And then, train underline input underline function equal to tf dot estimator dot inputs dot lampi input function equal to features labels shuffle equal to two batch size equal to thirty two then a post equal to twenty. We are almost finished this scene. There's just one step left behind, the, the really important one. We have to train our model. The batch size and the line epoch parameters in our input function are both hyperparameters. Batch size tells our model how many examples will be passed to our model during one iteration. And the line in parts is the number of times our model will go through the entire training set. Time to train our model. We can do this with one line of code. Estimator that train input function equal to train in input function. Okay, it's quite simple. I didn't realize that it's so easy to use.
The training may take some time. You just have to be patient. And fortunately, we got the Google driver to do that for us. We got Google. We got Google GPU to do that work for us. So we don't need to run it on our local environment. If we do so, we are going to inside because、um, the speed of my machine doesn't allow me to do that so quickly. Okay, we are done finally.、Um, you can see the loss is zero dot dot one, and the accuracy. Okay, he didn't see it.、Um, to evaluate the accuracy of our model, we create an evaluate input function with our test data and call estimator that evaluate. Let's say evaluate input function equal to tf dot. Estimator that inputs that NumPy input function,、um, and the description equal to、um, np dot array, and the test descriptions dot as type NumPy dot str, and the test in encoded as dot as type NumPy dot input thirty two. Okay, shuffle equal to false. And then you call that function estimator that evaluates per input function equal to evaluate input function. Okay, here we can see the accuracy is zero point nine, which means you have um ninety percent accurate accuracy by using your model. Your results may vary slightly. He said the 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 model you you trained、uh, works very well. Generating predictions on our trained model. Time for the best part. Generating predictions on data or model haven't seen before. First, let's set up an array of a few descriptions. I I grabbed it. This from IMDb. Um, row test. Equal to、um, those sentence, and then we'll then define our prediction input function and call it predict.、Um, tf dot estimator dot input dot lambda input function equal to descriptions dot lambda array row test as type lambda string and shuffle equal to false. Then you. Give it to the estimator that predict function and get the results. We can iterate through the results and display the top two generals found for each movie along with their confidence values. Yeah, we can do that.、Um, for movie,、um, wait a minute. Genres. Genres. For movie genres in results, top two equal to movie genres probabilities that argue start. It just get the you know the 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 last two elements and then do a reverse, let it to be the first, and and then for general in top two,、um, we we can get text. Underline general equal to encoder that classes underline general. Okay, finally we can get the 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 thing we need. Um, let's read that description to determine by ourselves what kind of that that generals it would be. Um, an examination of our. That we choices and the food we put in our in our in our bodies based on based on Johnson Sanford smoothie. Okay, I can determine what kind of that that movie. What what's the the general of that movie? Let's read another one. A teenager tries to survive the last week of her、uh, disastrous 18th grade year before leaving to start high school. I still can can understand. <laughs> Can figure out what kind of movie it is.、Um, Ethan Hunt and、uh, his team, along with some familiar idols, race against the town after a mission gone wrong. Okay, that must be、uh, an action movie, and、uh, it's about aliens. So it's a 
it's an adventure. So let's go ahead. Satisfaction. Yeah, it's about any. So it's about science faction. Okay, quite uh quite well. It's it's good for classification. Uh, as far as you know, um, how to train a model to um protect to to classify those text into multiple um genres or multiple classification. Before before this, before today's reading, you are you are. Um, you you can do it, yes. But after it, you can do it by yourself. So that's the uh, real. That's a real. That's a, that's a real exciting thing you can do for the weekend. Okay. Um. So this is today or this week's learning about machine learning. And if anything goes well, I will see you in the next video. Bye.